So I need to release my beneficial insects this morning because they're all hatching out. I have some assassin bugs and some green lace wings. That's my pest control going into the fall time here. So I'm going to show you that. We're going to get things watered real quick. We're going to get these assassin bugs and lace wings released into the garden this morning after we water. They kind of prefer a moist environment to hatch in. These are green lace wing eggs and they send them to you like on these cards right and then the eggs are like kind of glued on there and then they'll hatch out and then they got these little things so you can hang them like on the branches of plants so i'm gonna put them on these plants right here the type of plant that it is is not important what's important is that we're doing organic pest control here right and these plants are just like really big they got like a nice branch that i can hang this on so i'm gonna show you how you need to hang these because you can't just like put these on there because ants will come and eat all the eggs so ants farm aphids on plants right and they eat the honeydew the the aphids secrete so they protect their crop at all costs so they will sense the the green lacewing eggs are here they'll climb up the plant go eat the eggs and then your investment is gone and these did you no good so I'm going to put some tape around the base of the plants so the ants can't crawl up it. And well, I'm going to put the tape on it and I'm going to paint it with this, uh, with this, it's called tangle foot. And I bought all this stuff from Arb Arbico Organics. The other day I got a phone call from Arbico Organics. It was Becky at Arbico Organics. She called me and said, Mikey, we're having a sale. I can send you double the amount of assassin bugs. So if you order 500, I'm going to send you a thousand. So she sent me a thousand uh assassin bugs for the price of 500 i was like Heck yeah becky send them charge a card on file i got them the next day you know so today we're going to release them into the garden so i'm going to put this around the base of the plant and paint it with tangle foot this is like a rubber cement type of substance so then when the ants go to crawl up the plant they're just going to get stuck in this so they can't get to the green lacewing eggs to eat them so we're going to get these installed on these plants here right now i'm going to show you how we do that Okay, so you can see how I like tape the bottom of the plant and then just put the tangle foot over it. And so that'll, if ants try to crawl up the plant, they're going to get stuck in that now, right? So they can't get to my green lace wings. I moistened it a little bit because they prefer a moist environment to hatch. Now, I'm just going to take like kind of several of these because this is the best place. Like these plants are the best plants that I have for these guys to kind of hatch out and start their life. And then my hope is that they'll just kind of fly away and go to other parts of the garden from here, you know, because like I got a lot of lettuce and radishes and things like that growing right now. So like I can't really go like hang these on lettuce or radishes. So these are the best places for these guys right now. And then my hope is that they'll just kind of fly off here into the nursery go and take care of everything else so i'm gonna kind of like hide them up in the plant so they have like a nice shaded environment to hatch out over the next several days so i'm just gonna kind of find a branch up here um where i can hang it that's kind of hidden and then i'm gonna get this guy over here Okay, so that's like a lot of green lace wings for like one little area. So they're going to hatch out in here and they're going to take care of everything in the nursery. Uh, I'm going to go put some of these under my habanero pepper plants too. I think that would be a good place for some more to hatch out. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to like put some on the lettuce too. I got a different type of egg. Okay, and then these are the assassin bugs. So you can see how they're like hatching out. And these are another type of predator insect that just eat pests in all types of stages. So I'm gonna hang one of these on each car, you know, on each of these plants also with the green lace wing. All right, and then these are like green lace wing eggs that they put them like in sawdust basically. I don't know if you can see, but basically they're the eggs and they're mixed in with sawdust. So you can just sprinkle these on top of things. So like, this is what I kind of use on my lettuce, right? I just kind of sprinkle this all over the place. So there's a lot better chance of the ants get them, but they're more spread out, not so concentrated. So it's harder for the ants to find them you know but it's the best thing i have to like sprinkle over my lettuce or like i got some cabbages here you know so like you can't really like hang the card on these types of plants you know you definitely could use tangle foot in to some degree i just buy these ones in the powder form and then i just kind of sprinkle them over the top of those types of crops you know i i've honestly like had aphid infestations cleared up 
in my lettuce within like two to three weeks and not seeing another another aphid for the rest of the season uh from just sprinkling this on my lettuce so it, it definitely works i've done it millions of times and, and you can do this over and over like you know if you still got problem do it again in two weeks do it again in two weeks do it again in two weeks right you just keep doing it until it clears up the problem uh, if it doesn't clear up your problem then you got some other issues and before i do this type of stuff i generally do some knockdown sprays so some organic sprays so i did a little bit of a rotation of pyganic which is an organic pyrethrum based spray with spinosad which is similar to bt uh, just an organic soil borne bacteria that kills caterpillars and some other insects when they ingest it so i did a spray of pyganic then i did a spray of spinosad and then now i'm releasing beneficial insects which so the the sprays kind of knock back the pests and then these guys keep the pests away so that they don't come back and these guys continue to keep eliminating the pests so you don't have to be out here like every day spraying anyways and nobody wants to eat stuff that's been sprayed right so i knock the pests back when the seedlings are really young and then as the plants mature a little bit then i'm coming in with the beneficial insects to just take care of everything from there so i'm just gonna sprinkle these on top of these cabbages and some lettuce around here all right so you see i just sprinkle them like pixie dust basically right over the lettuce crops and then it just kind of lands in there hopefully they hatch out start eating like any of the pests that might be around and then uh hopefully like the ants don't eat all of them you know i just released enough uh green lace wings on a quarter acre uh for a whole acre right so i'm doing four times the amount that i would really need for this type of land so that's kind of how i roll you know what i mean just put like a boatload of these things if i need to do it again in a couple of weeks i do it again in a couple of weeks this jar costs 30 bucks you know the other thing costs 30 bucks uh, so it's not a lot of money um so okay we gotta get packed up we gotta go over to the other farm and get these carrots planted let's go baby